Standing at the edge of the Grand Canyon, what if I told you the mind-bending part isn't just the sheer size but how it was made by something tiny over an almost unbelievable amount of time? Everyone sees this colossal chasm and thinks, wow, that's deep. But the real kicker? It was carved by the relatively small Colorado River, working tirelessly for something like five to six million years just for the modern canyon you see today. Think about that. That little river, armed with sediment like sandpaper, just kept grinding away, carving deeper and wider, one grain of sand at a time, over millions upon millions of years. It's less about a single dramatic event and more about the quiet, persistent, almost stubborn power of water and time combined. When you're there, looking out, you're essentially staring at geological history laid bare, layer by layer, each one a testament to this impossibly slow, incredibly powerful process. It completely changes your perspective. It's not just a big ditch. It's a dynamic, ongoing masterpiece sculpted by patience and flow. It makes you appreciate that even the smallest forces, given enough time, can create something absolutely monumental. Seriously, it's nature's ultimate lesson in persistence, and it's breathtaking to witness. It truly makes you feel like a tiny blip in time.